Welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Matt. I'm Tim. We're here at the J.C. Ralston Arboretum in Raleigh, North Carolina in late October of 2022. Let's go ahead and check out this conifer garden. So right here behind me actually is a cool metasequoia. This is metasequoia glyptosorboides hamlet's broom, which actually has a little bit of a creamier type foliage for a dwarf uh, Dawn Redwood. It's a pretty cool one. Oh man, I love Weeping Wonder. This is a cool ginkgo. We've talked about it a little bit on our channel. This is a great specimen. Uh, I like to consider this the lace leaf ginkgo. You get some large foliage, you get some stringy foliage, you get some tubes in this. It's very unique, makes a semi-weeping habit. You get a lot of growth that weeps straight down from there. When this hits that fall color, it is exceptional. And uh, yeah, we've kind of tried to coin the phrase lace leaf ginkgo, but that's definitely a little bit of what this one does. That's for sure. Now, next up over here, we've got Cedrus Deodora feeling blue. Oh, nice. Love this plant. This is a dwarf uh, Deodora cedar, a dwarf Himalayan cedar, but it really gives that blue color. I've seen some light greens at first, but once this plant gets established, it really starts going to those darker blue colors. Okay, I'm going back to another ginkgo. Always a fan favorite here, ginkgo biloba, Robbie's Twist. Now, why this one's famous is every little bit of growth on this kind of looks like a twist. It's also a very narrow tree. I don't know if it's quite considered columnar, but it's a very narrow habit. The margins of these leaves are just starting to hit a little bit of fall color. It hadn't, hadn't hit its peak yet, but a really nice, unique ginkgo. I love how it's kind of always multi-stem but narrow all the branches are very tied up and then a lot of weird twisting growth within that you can almost identify robbie's twist out of leaf just as easily yeah a cool plant by our friend crispin silva named after his son robbie love the conifer garden here back here this is a really cool pine we've got pinus dentiflora burks variegated this is one of those uh, Japanese red pines in that oculus draconis fashion where you see the white and yellow cream banding in the, the, the pine itself. Love pine trees when they have that variegation. Just add something a little bit extra in the landscape. Guys, we've got a golden Spanish fir here. I love this fir here. Abies pensapo aria. Definitely a golden, a uh, little more compact fir that's an excellent tree to use out in the landscape and garden. Yeah, some plants you just have to touch. This one makes you want to touch it a little bit. It's got a cool habit to it. Uh, there's a lot going on in this conifer garden. You know, it's actually an American Conifer Society reference garden, but there are some really cool Japanese maples mixed in. Uh, a few cool variations of Macaulay Yatsubusa. This one I believe to be the correct form of Acer palmatum Shishi Yatsubusa. So it's a, a more, as you can see, low spreading form here of the Macaulay Yatsubusa type variant. People often say that this is synonymous with Makawi Yatsubusa, but if you look at the leaves on this, you'll notice the leaves cut down differently. Right. On Reminds this. Reminds you a little bit more of Shishigashira. Yeah, it's so different than what you think of when you think of Acer Palmetto Makawi Yatsubusa. When you look at the leaf itself, the leaf shape's a little bit different, uh -huh. and the way the leaf cups is different as well. I've seen this one in the trade incorrectly, more of like a Kiyohime looking plant, but I think the real Shishi Yatsubusa is pretty cool. I love how they've got all these different spreading junipers and spreading things all around right. the outside, sort of playing off of the larger uh, conifers on the inside. Classic one down here, you've got Junipers horizontalis motherlode. 
really nice low spreading form always popular for that golden yellow carpet it provides i'm sure it's going to let this spread out and provide a ground cover for a lot of these larger more uh, structural conifers in the garden but a nice low spreading form definitely Guys, I'm here with Pinus parviflora aoi. Now, I don't know if that's pronounced aoi, but it's a really cool Japanese white pine. It has this fluffy type feel to it. As this plant ages, it gets denser and denser, as you see here. It makes it a really cool blue Japanese white pine for the landscape and garden. Ah, check out this bald cypress over here. Now, dwarf can kind of be a relative term. This is a dwarf bald cypress called Jim's Little Guy. This plant was originally in a bucket in the water garden up there when you first come into the J.C. Ralston Arboretum. They've since got it into the ground. This was an introduction kind of by Dr. Creech, uh, named for his good friend Jim Berry of Berry Nurseries there in Texas. And this was a broom found on a taxodium that they named. Love this plant because it's everything you like about the bald cypress, but smaller right. and more compact. People laugh when you say that's a small tree because it's giant but a regular bald cypress in the same time frame is gonna be like 40 or 50 feet to this plant right here. Really cool deciduous conifer right here behind us. Taxodium discum Jim's little guy. Hey, we hope you like this quick look at the conifer gardens here at the J.C. Ralston Arboretum. Uh, definitely like, subscribe, and share. That goes a long way in helping our channel grow. If you enjoy this kind of content, you can always reward us with a subscribe. Yeah, this is such an amazing conifer garden. Thank you all so much for watching. God bless. Take care. And good night.